folks this is meenakshi welcome to yet another episode of soccer stories today let's go through the interesting events that took place in the 1978 world cup argentina had for long wanted to host the world cup the south americans were furious and had boycotted the 1938 edition when fifa decided to give europe the chance to host back to back world cups It was the odds on favorite in the 1962 before Chile stole it away from the Argentinians the Chilean plea that it should have the world cup as it did not have anything finding favor with the FIFA members however Argentina was finally rewarded as it was given the rights to be the host of the 11th world cup in 1978 even here the south americans did encounter some stiff opposition from mexico before the latter withdrew from the fray but then the tournament per se was marked by controversies right from the start this due to the fact that argentina two years prior to the world cup came under rule by a military junta the human rights violations under the new argentinian regime were widely condemned around the world and there was a fear that the world cup was being used by the rulers of that country to wash away their sins some of the participating countries notably the netherlands initially thought of pulling out of the tournament though in end all the 16 teams which made the cut finally did take part however not everyone was convinced and this included johan cruyff the world's best footballer and winner of the golden ball in 1974 opted to stay home because of his political convictions and this radical step taken by cruyff had a definite impact in the final outcome of the tournament which we would get to know later as we need to stick to the controversies with which the tournament was mired the 1978 tournament as it were was the last time where in the final rounds would be restricted to 16 teams fifa having already decided to include eight more team starting with the 1982 edition A total of 107 entered the qualifiers from 14 teams as usual made the final round along with defending champions Germany and host Argentina and as the event finally got started the tournament was struck with criticism as the state of the turf in Mar del Plata remained terrible and unplayable Brazil which was forced to play all its group matches at this venue was vehement in its criticism as it rightly pointed that the turf would diminish its chances of scoring freely and thereby would stop it from advancing as the event finally got start the tournament was struck with criticism as the state of the turf in mar de plata remained terrible and unplayable brazil which was forced to play all its group matches at this venue was vehement in its criticism as it rightly pointed that the turf would diminish its chances of scoring freely and thereby would stop it from advancing there was more than an element in truth in it as the final outcome in the group would prove brazil correct the tournament was also forced to face another controversy when opposing teams came to the fore and accused referees of blatantly helping the host country Argentina which was a beneficiary of many lopsided decisions the home team also had the advantage of playing all its matches in buenos aires and in the night knowing beforehand the results of all the other matches perhaps the most controversial tie of the tournament was the one between argentina and peru in the final group game of the second round Argentina needed to win this match by four goals to make progress into the final at the expense of Brazil. The three-time winner having completed its engagements earlier in the day, Argentina, which held a 15 to 3 record against Peru, hammered six goals to pip Brazil on goal difference and advance to the final. Argentina, which held a 15 to 3 record against Peru, hammered six goals to pip brazil on goal difference and advanced to the final there were allegations of match fixing and that the peruvians were bribed to lose the match later in 2012 a former peruvian senator genaro ledesma 
controversially revealed that the result was agreed upon before the match by the dictatorships of the two countries. Argentina, which held a 15-3 record against Peru, hammered six goals to pip Brazil on goal difference and advanced to the final. There were allegations of match fixing and that the Peruvians were bribed to lose the match. Later, in 2012, a former Peruvian senator, Gennaro Ledesma, controversially revealed that the result was agreed upon before the match by the dictatorships of the two countries. There were stories of other secret deals as well, but this was never proved. In group play of the first round, there were several surprises with seedings going for a toss. Poland won Group 2 ahead of fancied West Germany. Peru pushed the Netherlands to the second spot in Group 4 and the biggest surprise was Austria finishing ahead of Brazil in Group 3. Italy beat Argentina to top Group 1st which was the group of death what with it including France and Hungary. Both Argentina and Italy beat France and Hungary and squared off the match to decide the group winner. Italians won 1-0 and forced Argentina to move out of Buenos Aires and play its second round matches in Rosario. The Dutch, along with the West Germans, Italians and Austrians, made up the all-European Group A. The Netherlands struck form to thrash Austria 5-1 with Johnny Rep scoring a brace before being engaged in a 2-2 draw with West Germany. Italy held West Germany to a goalless draw and beat Austria by a solitary goal. Already holding advantage, the Dutch finally edged out Italy 2-1 and advanced into their second straight final. The defending champions West Germany had a miserable tournament and were surprisingly beaten by Austria 3-2 in the game known as the Miracle of Cordoba and before being knocked out. Group B pitted three South American teams against each other, but it was essentially a battle between Argentina and Brazil to decide the winners. Group B pitted three South American teams against each other, but it was essentially a battle between Argentina and Brazil to decide the winners. Poland, the only European team in the group, lost all its matches. After winning their first round matches, Argentina and Brazil played out a tempestuous goalless draw. Brazil, which crushed Peru 3-0, had the definite goal advantage before the start of the last group matches. Brazil went on to defeat Poland 3-1 but was forced to watch helplessly as Argentina rode a rough shot over Peru to qualify for their first World Cup final. Following their controversial exit from the final and after finishing third, Brazilian coach Claudio Coutinho called his team as the moral champions as his side was the only team to leave the tournament undefeated. The final was also laced with controversy. The Argentine FA lobbied for a late referee switch as they argued that designated Israeli official Abraham Klein had a soft corner for the Dutch which had good political relations with Israel. Klein refereed in Argentina's lone defeat against Italy and was deemed as unlucky. Italian Sergio Gonella therefore was given the chance to officiate the final. The Dutch were made to wait for five minutes before the start of the final as Argentina arrived late. Then they protested against the plaster cast the Dutch defender René van de Kerkhoff had worn on his forearm. René had played with the cast in other matches in the tournament and none of the teams had raised any objections. But the hand-picked Italian referee Sergio Gonella gave in and René was asked to wear an extra bandage. The tension during the final was palpable, the crowd being visibly hostile against the visitors. And much to the satisfaction of the throng, Oswaldo Adels waded his way through the ticker tapes to feed Mario Kemps who scored to put the host ahead. The Dutch responded well forcing Argentinian goalkeeper Ubaldo Filol to make a string of good saves. However, they had to wait until 8 minutes was left for the final whistle to gain the equaliser. This coming through a Dick Nanninger's well-directed header, Rob Resenberg hit the post in the last minute before the match went into extra time.
Argentina's passing game returned with Panache and Kembes. Amazing run ended in the second goal. The Dutch left gaps in the defence, pushing forward for the equaliser. Kembes again found Daniel Bertoni free to set up the goal. The 3-1 win triggered wild celebrations around the country as Argentina became the fifth nation as host to lift the World Cup. Kembes quite deservingly was also hailed as a hero for his match-winning efforts. Stay tuned to Striking Seconds for more soccer stories and please don't forget to like, share and subscribe our channel. Hasta la vista!